Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls series. So it is the morning of day 93. I did skip over day 92, uh, only because I was just doing all the boring stuff, all the repairs to the base, um, getting my weapons repaired, making some ammo, avoiding screamers. I hear you down there. Let's go kill her. Then we'll get out of here. I was getting some iron, so I gotta make some steel. Oh, you're inside. How'd you get inside? Um. How did you get inside? Did you spawn inside? Or did you break it? Holy shit! How did I not see this? Did she... No, she couldn't have broken through there. I wasn't downstairs for all that long. She wouldn't have been able to get... That must have happened the night. I missed that completely. I don't know how that, how that happened. I have no idea how that happened. Alright, let's grab this. I'm going to set some steel to go here. And we'll go down and fix that. Take a quest from the trader and get the hell out of here. Uh, we definitely need our steel game back up and running again here. So we'll get four of these going. That. And this. Alright, we'll keep the rest of the iron for later. A little bit of stone, a little bit of sand, not bad. Uh, how are we doing for concrete? Not too bad, but let's get a bunch going here. Let's get three. Thousand in there. Three thousand and one in there. We need the extra one in there. And then uh, this guy can get three thousand going as well. Oops, not six. There we go. So let's put the rest of that away. Now, um, gonna make some 9 mil ammo here as well, AP. So let's grab that. Uh, oh, we don't need the tips because we got the tips. Uh, and now it's just gunpowder. I think it's 2 per for the 9 mil. So there's our batteries done. Bring those out. So let's get all this going in here. Get 1,000. Why is that? Oh, because we don't have enough gunpowder. Grab you, but then let's grab the casings for that and the tips for that. Because what we'll do is we'll get the 9 mil going in here. Just so we're ahead of the game. We got enough, but we might as well have more. I disassembled some of the ammo that uh, the old um, coil rounds, the, the uh, magnum rounds that we had and the shotgun rounds, and I made some ammo out of that last night. Or yesterday, get the 2,500 rounds going there. And drop that in. I sold everything to the trader that we had. Uh, those can go back. Uh, made a level 80 coil rifle out of all the individual small pieces that we had. Um, got a 79 or 71 ready to go. SMG I left alone. Um, and then the shotgun. What did I do with the shotgun? Uh, I merged all my armor, my extra body armor I had, al almost all of it. I got these from the last Horde Knight, but oh yeah, the shotgun I, I merged with a damaged one to, to uh, get us level to 77 so it'll last a little longer. Like, we do have a little bit of AP ammo left here, but I wanted to have like another four stacks just so we have some. I want to disassemble all of this too. It's just going to take forever to sit there and do it. Oh man. Okay, um, let's put the diamond in there. So we got a bunch of cash now. I made it like I don't know how, like 25 grand or 30 grand or something last night, maybe a little more out of everything that we sold. So let's see what you got for a quest. Uh, do you have any jobs? Fetches to the west. Hmm. So that's, we want to go north because there's that treasure up there we need to pick up. 
Let's go see if the uh, if Jen has got something. If not, we'll go out and fart around and do something. Go over here. Should have grabbed a quest when I was here selling stuff. Another wonderful morning in the apocalypse. How can I help you? You got any jobs, Jen? Fetch clear to the northwest. That's the airport. We've already oh, been there. Come on. The Duke's gonna slap me around if I don't make my quota this week. Yeah, that's not my problem, though. I think I've got a job or two. Isaiah. Oh, this is a dangerous one. Try not to, um... Yep. Get radiated. I know. Let's, um... Nah, fuck it. We got lots of ammo. Oh, yeah. I better fix that, huh? So we need, uh... Four... A bunch of blocks... My guess it was probably the big boys, and they're like, I can't get to him, so I'm just going to bang on stuff. Which is very weird. And we need to go here, too. Like that, like that screamer, there's no way she broke her way through that. Because like I said, I wasn't downstairs for very long. So... Like, at most, she would have broken one block, maybe. Alright, let's get out of here. We go to this Isia. I kind of know this POI a little bit. I've been in there before. So, um... I know it a little bit. This is the... This is a fetch clear, right? Ooh, let's take the motorbike. So we're getting a bit of a late start to the day. Got me a little bit concerned with the Isia. Um, but I think we should be able to handle it okay. And if we go into the nighttime. I'm not that worried about it. With the SMG and the coil weapons, we should be fine. Even at warrior difficulty, it's not that bad. I like the wall cart park parking lot. That was a freaking nightmare, man. Excuse me. Alright, we just dig under here until we find it. Well, there it is. It was kind of like shrinking to the southwest, so that's the way I went, and there it is. Oop. Bit of a lag. Wandering Horde stopped by yesterday, so I didn't... Don't think that should be a Horde right now. Sounds like it's one idiot up there. It's probably Kenny. I know I've said this before, but... Like, if you have an issue with trying to pick a lock... Like, just go some like do something else and then come back. There we go. Doesn't always work. Not bad. Doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. I'm not even gonna put Ken Kenny out of his misery. He can do what he's doing. So now we got the multi-tool. I can't think of a reason why we need to go out to see Caitlyn at all. Enjoy your life. Like, I mean, maybe she's got polymers. And that's the one thing we're going to try and grab a lot of when we're here. Uh, because I burned through a whole bunch of them. Alright, let's park. Mm, probably on the road facing the way we want to go back. Like right here. Good enough. Plenty of gas left. We'll just leave this stuff in here. I'm going to bring these down. I um, don't know if we'll use them, but there might be a good comical moment where we can actually just throw one up and uh, burn some Zeds with it. Ah, we got a lot of guys in the parking lot already. Fetch clear. Let's do this. Let's clear this parking lot first. We're having a lot of fucking bad guys out here. Oof. It's gotta hurt. And that's gotta hurt. Let's grab this guy next. Yep. Ooh, you missed me. Yeah, this thing, it's got such a kick to it, I should probably... I'll leave the, leave the light on, it makes it easier for you guys to see. I should probably, um... 
pull off some of the other mods, like the rad remover and stuff. We kill zombies so quickly that we don't need it. And just put on anything that can can help me with recoil here. There's two guys here, is there? Yeah, we're definitely gonna need some recoil reduction. Now I've got the um, the bipod mod we can put on here. That would probably help out a bit. I think it's when you're aiming too that it really helps. Ah, I don't really need the red die. I can always make it. Alright, not bad. Sell that. See anybody else down here. I mean, we could probably take these cars apart too, you know? Just need to aim a little lower. Really? Couple of chicken bones and a half eaten sandwich. Not gonna comment about your diet, but that's not really a way to live. I wanna talk. Somebody who says half a bag of chips is good enough for lunch. <laughs> not every day. It's every once in a while. Uh, there's two guys in here, is there? Well, look at you. Oof. Don't get all butt hurt over it. Ba ha ha. Ah. Well, that wasn't very funny. Let's keep moving. We have four guys down here, then we can go inside. This is a Bernie White, it looks like. Make sure we get a headshot on these guys before we uh, finish pulling the trigger. Yeah, we're doing pretty good with the damage on this thing. Some of the zombies we can we can kill in one shot. Ooh. 10 p.m. alarm. Don't need that. It's nice to get to the point where we don't need stuff. Oof. Alright, let's head inside. That's a second floor entrance. I think we should go in the main floor though. Alright, well this is going to be fun. One, is there one more in there? I think, I don't know if this is wood or not. Man, we're going to burn through all our ammo if we keep doing that. Fuck. Oh, hello. He got caught on fire by somebody. He wasn't a Bernie boy. Really? Well, the bathrooms are cleared. Guess we're heading up. Man, listen to this place. I hope I brought enough ammo. Look how many zombies are here.
That's a like mutated demo. That's a Bernie boy cop. Take whatever targets we can get as soon as we can get them. And we're doing like 1500 damage with this thing. Farmer boy. That guy's military. So we got three, six plus the guys in there. I think we have to go around to get those guys though. things I don't have. Wherever you are, you're not a Bernie boy. You're behind here. There you are. Gotcha. So we got a power armor helmet now. So we just need the chest and the and the gloves, I think. I think we've got the boots and the... Um, the we, we, I know we had the boots and the leggings. Drill her a new ear hole. A burning boy behind there. That's a lot of bookshelves. I'll take both those things. Alright, we got one down here. Now I think we're supposed to go along. Thanks for that. I think we're supposed to go along this way, but let's grab all this stuff first. We've got quite a ways to go before we get to our next mastery. We're at 120 books, we need 600. Unless we save up like 10 skill points, which, you know. So what I ended up doing with my skill points uh, after the last episode was I spent all three of them on Robotic Engineer. Scrap that. Spent them on robotics engineer. So now we've got the ability to run two junk turrets at the same time. And I installed a, not completely installed, but almost completely installed, a, um, how do we, who is that? That's a bird. There was a way we could have got him. Yeah, so I installed the... Um, do I have to jump that? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Well, I got that guy. Um, I installed the junk turret so that we could... Uh, that doesn't work. That does, though. There we go. I install, installed a uh, thing for the junk turret so that we could run them both at the same time. I love this POI. Like this back part's a little weird with all the, the spikes and everything with it being collapsed and stuff, but... Ooh, hello there. Nice. But yeah, so it's set up and ready to go for the next horde. So we have two junk turrets going, both firing fairly quickly. 
and then um, okay that's interesting so we should be able to mitigate a lot of the horde yeah we got to go down after this so let's take you out first somebody else over here too they're lying down so that's a with the mutated white first yeah. fucking god damn it wow he evaporated that's it for this room Okay, here another Bernie, but oh, not it for this room. Hidden stash, nice. And well, I can't really use it at the moment. Let's grab this stuff. Yeah, so hopefully the next horde, when we um, okay, we can scrap all this. I'm gonna. I should probably turn it up to 32 for the next horde. Uh, but it should mitigate a lot of the, um, yeah, we gotta go in there. Fuck, it's locked. <sighs> What's the best way in? I wonder if I can go around this way. I don't think so. I wonder if we're supposed to go down the stairs and I think we come back up that way <clears throat> is that the, oh wait a minute wait where is that is it in here there it is excellent okay let's go down I can't remember if we we're supposed to go through here or not We'll come back up. Fucking Jesus Christ, it just got really loud. and so I'm okay with that come on up here buddy oh you were where were you probably behind there That worked out. Look at the freaking. That's a demo. Let's get this guy first. Who's who here? Guess it doesn't matter who was who. They're both dead. Okay, let's grab you. All right. Power boots. the sound from these guys mine right there too uh. 
Who is this guy? You know, the SMG doesn't do a lot of initial damage, but the rate of fire on this thing sir, certainly makes up for it. Let's not die by mine. Wouldn't that be like the most insulting thing? Let him break through. We're gonna head down here. Have to be very uh, discerning very shortly of what we're gonna keep and what we're gonna throw away. These guys are dropping good loot, so. See, we can't sneak up along here because there's like mines everywhere, right? And we probably could, but not worried about that guy breaking through back. Oh, fuck me. Okay, um. Care about losing that box. What I do care about. He's staying alive. So two mines there. We got to kill this guy. We got no choice. I wonder how much damage about 50 grenades could do. I don't know how fast this guy's going to regen, but Probably ridiculously fast. Hey, buddy. I don't think I can kill him. Nope. I don't have the juice. Not without laser weapons, I don't. How the fuck did you get around that? Ow. This is bad. Bad, 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 bad. Okay, we go this way. That was not good. I don't have the juice for that guy. Yep, not with a laser weapon, I don't. Not without a laser weapon. See how many rounds I put into that guy, though? The weird thing is, is it said it had 7,500 hit points, but then, but then when I, um, 
I put a bunch of rounds into him. It said he had like 2250 or whatever. I guess maybe he starts off at 7500. I don't know. We're going to grab some stuff from here before we go. We'll just loot what we can. Because there's no way we can finish that guy off. Not without a laser rifle. Just got to get his head. Hopefully he's reset. Man, he got around that corner pretty well too. I was kind of shocked. Did not think he was going to get around that corner. Ah. Well, I didn't panic though. Like if I had, like if I had like super panicked. And I'm glad there was like that that exit point right between those uh, the spikes in between the mines that I could just jump out of like right there right across the minefield hey you I think we can take those guys out with one headshot now. Okay, we can scrap that. Uh, well, we wanted to loot this place, but for plastic. So the question is now... Oh, hey, spotted me, did you? Question is now is do we stay? Maybe we just stay on this side. Weapons bag, burning boy. Cause we know we can get out. I think we've killed most of the not most, but a lot of the zombies on this side. And this is a area is a fair bit of plastic. Got two down here. Okay, let's go down this way. First, we'll go to the front of the store, see if there's anybody up here. There's a burning boy over there. Because this is a lot of plastic that we can grab. And I know we've cleared out above us, right? That guy I know we can kill. Delete. Usually they got good drops too. That's not bad. Stuff we can sell. So this is a lot of plastic here. Got this guy. And we got one more. around the godlight corner here. Let's double and triple check this over here. Really? Alright, we're good with that. We know... Who's bang... Ah, oh, fuck. Did someone hear me? I honestly don't care what's in here. That's just a wanderer. Okay, 
there's not a lot of plastic here. Nice. I don't know if this is supposed to be the last room you go to. Maybe that's maybe that's what this is. What's this? Scrap that, take the rest. Ah, I could scrap that, take those. This could be the last room. We don't want that. It's all the plastic we want. So how much do we get plastic wise? Where is it? Where is the polymer? Oh my god, how come I cannot see this? There's the cricket, so we should get the hell out of here, but where... Oh, there it is, right there, 110. Oh, okay. Not anywhere near as much as I need, but whatever. Alright, let's go deal with these guys. I think we take apart... Let's take apart some cars before we go. Because we got a good amount of polymers last time when we took the cars apart. Five per car? No. It can be more. That was a lot more. Alright, so what do we get out of that? Ah, a bunch of batteries, some engines. Ah, a lot of gas. So we had 110 before, we got 250 now, so we made 140 polymers just off those cars. There's a couple of more up here I think I want to grab before we leave. There's a little bit of polymer, but not much. I think it's, you need 10 polymers for every 50 coil batteries. I think that's how it works out. Yeah, I know. Stop fucking reminding me I couldn't kill that guy. Am I a little shit? Wow, she hit hard, man. Oh, I got infected too at some point. Whoops. Did I pen? Oh well. I think I penned the one and... <laughs> oh well. I was trying to shoot the one that was facing me, the one the furthest away from me, and, and I guess I shot straight through the other one and killed her. Although it didn't look like it in the hitboxes when I was firing, but I guess the actual hitbox is different. Yeah, I didn't even notice when I got infected. It must have been... It must have been the Incubus. I'm, they might, I think they probably... Uh, I think they have a 100% chance to infect you. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I heard somebody say that. Which is kind of cool, although I think they, that the demon should have a different type of infection. Some kind of like, like rot or something like that. So regular zombies have you the, give you the regular infection, but like demons give you some kind of demon rot or something like that that affects all of your stats from, from the get-go. I guess I should really spend some time making that back door over there where the, I parked the motorbike. Motorbike. Motorcycle. The car has moved again. I should make that in a, a uh, remote door right there. Park our bike up here. Now we got a few things in it. Grab that. Refuel. 
and then we can put in yeah I'll put a fat stack of gas in there I got some stuff to sell Another have you ever sent me if you ever apocalypse. send me to face an incubus again you? without the proper weapons I'm gonna be really upset but for now let me see your inventory we'll sell some shiz alright so that's not too bad we came back back with a fair amount of stuff we can sell this stuff I don't think I need the laser sight we can get rid of that too so we got a stack and a bit of money we came back from although 8,000 of that was from the uh, treasure that we dug that we dug up so it's not that big of a deal I don't want any more engines eh Sell you the headlights because we don't need them. Sell you the oil because we don't need it. We got a crap ton. Hang on to the springs though. We seem to use those a fair bit. We're going to be opening up this stuff tonight. So yeah, there it is. I'm going to end this episode here, I think. Take this stuff back inside. I'm not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. I'm just going to go ahead and sell this too. We don't really need it. Thank not sure so what we're going to do tomorrow. I know we need to get some again. titanium. We've got a bit more work to do down here. i got to upgrade some of these spikes over here. I didn't have any wood on me. Um, and then i got to upgrade some stuff down here. But all the electronics are repaired and ready to go. And I filled in the uh, tunnel here with uh, just rebar frame blocks. So that if something tries to glitch through into the, into the uh, caverns below again, it shouldn't happen because it's filled with rebar and that should just stop them. But anyway, I'm leaving the episode here. hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.